Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Now if you've mistakenly clicked on this thinking that you're going to get eyes or maybe a nose tutorial, you're in the wrong place. But I've got you. There'll be something floating around here where you can have a look at those tutorials instead. But for now, lips. Here we have a nice little montage of lots of nice juicy lips. Some of my favourite that I've drawn. Unfortunately, I do not, in real life, have those nice lips, as we can see. That's me, cartoon me. And while obviously I embrace how I look, I don't like to draw that way. <laughs> anyway, enough rambling, and let's just get to it. How I draw lips. I think I say this about every single tutorial that I make, but I do really enjoy drawing lips. I find them fairly basic, and I like to draw them fairly basic too, so generally, I just start with the line straight through the middle and I'm just doing a neutral uh, lip here in that there's no expression just for ease of explaining what I do and how I colour. Like I said I have drawn the middle line and then I have done the top lip including the cupid's bow and the bottom lip. From there I just like to add some detail so I like to add some shadows. I always like to add a shadow under the lip because in most lightings, unless it's an upward lighting, you are going to have that shadow from the lip. I also like to show a little bit of shadow uh, where the lips meet as well. And as you can see, I'm just adding some finer details here. Nothing too crazy at this point. I like to keep it fairly quick. I don't like to spend too much time on them. So here I've duplicated the layer and I've set it to multiply. And I've added a layer underneath that now, which is where I'm going to do my colour. Now I have used a reference for this particular drawing, which I will show you. I like to block in the colour with a hard round brush. Usually I find I'll add texture maybe later on, but for now, it's a smooth lip, so let's go with no texture. So now I've picked some colour for the lip that is different to the skin tone. Something slightly more red and deeper. And I'm just filling in that top lip, as well as some slight shadow underneath the bottom lip. Now I do like to add some colour variation in most of my art, even if I'm using a reference where that colour isn't even there. I just think it brings a little bit more something a bit more interesting and most of the time my art is not realistic anyway so why not <laughs> so I've added a slight bit of purple there a cooler color to contrast with the warm color of the lips and now I'm adding more of a brighter pink color in the middle to show some of that highlight that would be bouncing off that lip we really want to create a sense of volume because these are slightly bigger lips so it's really important to make sure that I get that shadow in there with deeper tone colours as well as some brighter colours too. When I pick the colours, I don't use the exact same colours, I am not just going lighter or darker. I like to shift the colour wheel slightly just to bring that variation and it'll stop your colours from looking a little bit muddy. So this is just my basic sketch and colour. Usually I might just add a few more details to this as my sketch style. 
or I could try and go to something a bit more fully rendered. But for now, this is what I would usually do at the sketch stage. So I'll just start to add some rough highlights. Um, I believe I'm using the 6B pencil for this. This is where I'm adding a little bit of texture, which I realize now seems a bit counterintuitive for highlights. <laughs> but like I said, it's the sketch style. So uh, yeah, that's what I'm using to color those in. Now I'm going to show you how I continue on from a sketch style to a little bit more rendered where you're not going to see much of my sketch anymore but I don't like to overdo it and that's just a personal preference of mine. So I like to smooth out the harshness of the sketch underneath uh, the lower lip so you're not going to see as harsh a shadow and the same where the lips meet as well for the most part at this stage I'm basically coloring over the sketch just to remove those harsh lines and to make everything a little bit smoother the rendering stage is the longest stage as you can see <laughs> um, I feel like not much happens in terms of decision making and color choices because I've already laid that down in the sketch stage so this is basically just cleaning everything up making it a bit smoother So I'm still using the hard round brush, which is a firm favorite of mine. I do not like to use too many brushes. It's either the 6B pencil brush or the hard round brush, which both are default Procreate brushes. So I'm trying to create more volume here by adding extra shadows um, on the upper and lower lips. Obviously the shadows where the light is not reaching the lip so closer to where the lips meet and I also like to paint that in a more rounded way to show the volume and the shape of the lip I'm also just adding some more purple highlights on the lower side of the lip and I guess that also shows sense of direction where there might be some light hitting that side I generally don't go for a pure white highlight. It can be a little bit jarring to look at. Um, something a bit softer is usually much better. And not just that, but most lights that we are under, we're never truly under a white light. Usually direct light is sunlight, or we might be sitting in a room and there might be some bounce light, and that could be any sort of color. So yeah, I don't usually pick a bright white light, but I like to go for something, maybe a cooler tone, or even a warmer tone, depending on the color of the lips. At this stage, I'm about maybe seven or eight minutes into drawing this more rendered style. And to be honest, I wouldn't normally spend this long drawing lips. And it's only for the sake of this tutorial and showing my process that it's taking this amount of time. But obviously, you can spend as much time as you want, depending on how sketchy you want to be or how realistic you want to be. And there we have it. We have my sketch lip, which it has enough details there that you can tell exactly what it is. And then I have my more rendered lips in which I add a little bit more detail and I try to cover up more of those sketchy lines and try to bring a little bit more depth and volume to the lips so that can be, I would say, more semi-realistic. 
but when you look far away it can also look quite realistic as well so it all depends on what your style is and what you're going for I hope you've enjoyed this quick overview on how I draw lips and that seeing my process shows you that it's actually not that difficult in terms of the amount of steps that I take and the actual process itself. So I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial guys and I will see you in my next one. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.